and in some spots could exceed 30 degrees Celsius. In record UK temperatures, major incidents were declared across the country as wildfires destroyed everything in their path. Firefighters in the capital say yesterday was their busiest day since the Second World War. In five minutes they said it was unsalvageable yeah. and by that point we, when we took a step back and we saw it spreading to neighbours' houses and we saw how quick it was going, the marsh was up, we just thought we've got to get everyone out, you know. Yeah. We'll be finding out about the link between these extreme weather events and climate change. Also on the programme, more pressure on households. Prices continue to rise at their fastest rate in 40 years, driven by higher food and fuel costs. A new strategy to try to improve health care for women after a consultation showed more than 80% felt they weren't listened to when asking for help. You've either got a vagina or a voice. You don't seem to have both, do you? No. No. Three will become two Conservative MPs prepare to vote on the final candidates to become the next Prime Minister. He is gonna do it! Gold for Jake Whiteman! And a stunning performance. Jake Whiteman becomes the first British man in nearly 40 years to win the world 1500 metres title. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, England's biggest test of the Euros is here. They face Spain in the quarterfinals in Brighton tonight. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the BBC News at One. The Mayor of London says yesterday was the busiest day for the capital's fire service since the Second World War. More than 40 properties in London were destroyed by fires, which broke out in record-breaking temperatures. And there were major incidents in other parts of the country as well, including Norfolk, Suffolk, Lincolnshire, Leicestershire and South Yorkshire. The weather is also continuing to affect transport. We'll have more on that in a few minutes' time. First, our correspondent Tim Muffet 